important thing for me is to remember why we're building these schools and who we're building for. So it's trying to understand that when you're finishing something to a quality standard, you're not doing it for yourself, you're not doing it for the site manager, you're not doing it for me, you're doing it for the pupils who are going to go to this school. You're doing it for the teachers that have to come in here every day and, and this is their life, this is their dream that a lot of people have had for, for a long, long time. And it's important that we, uh, we understand that's why we do quality. Our kind of strap line as a school is achieving excellence in everything we do. Um, we, we use that strap line with our children, we use it with our families, our community and, and it very much motivates our staff. And I, the minute that Wilmot Dixon came on board with this project, I felt that they very much adhered to that strap line. That it, was, it could almost be theirs, achieving excellence in everything we do and, and about working together. Well, the, the whole experience has been a real journey, starting from um, obviously really apprehensive start on my part and um, as through the, through the months it's been a really positive experience for us. What really kind of astonished me was the, was the opportunities that we had as a school to work with the construction team. So we had some of the quantity surveyors, uh, the, the girls that were working here early on came in and did a talk to our year sevens about going to university. and female jobs in construction which was great for us um, and uh, the girls were really kind of inspired by that and could see these women working on site and you didn't, you didn't have to wear a, a hard hat to be a builder or to work in construction so for me that really kind of opened my eyes up to what Wilmot Dixon were trying to do that was different um, not just to come and build but to actually kind of inspire children and show them an understanding of, of their future um, and the kind of jobs that were open to them which which is, is fantastic especially for us as a growing school. When we're in the field and we see the builders um, they'd wave to us and say hi and then we'd ask them um, how the building's going and they'd say it's going good not long till it's finished and things like that. So really positive and sometimes you feel like they're not there. So you feel like they're part of the playground kind of. I suppose another thing that comes to mind is that um, we all have bad days. <laughs> um, we're all human, I have bad days. I had a, a really bad day last, last term, um, middle of October and uh, I needed to get out of school and just have a few moments to reflect and calm down. I didn't want my senior team to have to burden, have to carry the burden of that. So I came out on site here, um, just intended to sit in my car really and take a, a few minutes. But um, Chris and a couple of the guys were, were standing outside and I joined them. And I suppose for me that, that felt like a safe place to um, just to be and to collect my thoughts and to kind of de-stress and, um, and I felt safe in telling them I've had a bad day. <laughs> Definitely uh, going to miss them because um, it's just one less, a couple less people to say hi to when you're having fun um, and it will kind of feel like something's missing but then they've kind of, you could say, made their mark as in they've built us the new building. Part of the project involves lots of other organisations, for example the architects and the people that deliver the FF&E. Um, when we sit around the table and we talk at progress meetings, I don't really see them as separate organisations. I see us as one big team working together and I would say that as part of that team we work with the same kind of qualities and, and sense of purpose. So it's been a, a bit of a, a dream journey in a way and it will be coming to an end quite soon and I suppose the only sadness there is that we won't have this great team to come into school and, and deliver sessions and help us uh, inspire kids for the future but um, I suppose it will be worth it for what we get back. <laughs>